Welcome to the Hidnight Lucas Mansion. This is a time capsule, if you will. James Paul Lucas traveled the world as a diamond and gem trader, but perhaps his most admirable trait was that of visionary. Diamond Jim was an eccentric, rich man of his era who would not lower himself to be normal. That imagination was never more obvious than how he chose to expand his two-story bungalow. First thing he said was it's not big enough. And so in 1914, he sawed the house in half horizontally and raised the original second floor up in the air. And when it was high enough in the air, they used uh, railroad jacks and cribbing. Then he said, that's high enough, now build floor number two in between. Diamond Jim passed away in 1952, but his legacy and that of his unique home would live on. In 1981, it caught the eye of two philanthropists who purchased it and filled the three levels with antiques, arts, and collectibles, not as a private home, but as the Hidden Knight Arts and Heritage Center. The Hidden Knight Center was founded by R.Y. and Aline Lackey Sharp. They're Hidden Knight natives uh, who Grew up here, then married and moved to Winston-Salem, founded Pilot Motor Lines, moved back to Hidnight in their retirement and purchased the Lucas Mansion to open as an arts and cultural museum. Her dream was to uh, build a nonprofit entity to encapsulate all the gems that are within Alexander County. On the first floor is the 1914 House Museum which is the house restored as it was in 1914 when this became the primary residence to James Paul Diamond Jim Lucas. The second floor houses an art gallery. We have rotating exhibits that feature local artists and regional artists in the area so that they will have a place to come and learn and exhibit, even sell their wares in our gift shop. You're gonna see art that you won't see in the big city. It's more of a a craft, um, an artisan, a folk type art, and it's a bargain compared to what you would pay there. And then the third floor is our permanent collections, which is largely comprised of our antique dolls and toys collection. That was the private collection of our founder, Eileen Lackey Sharp, and so that too uh, encapsulates the time, the, the region, the era, uh, we are multifaceted and you'll find it all in here. The center has also expanded with an educational complex just down the street. We offer art programming including art classes, pottery classes. Uh, we also offer junior Appalachian musician classes. We, we try to preserve the traditional Appalachian music. Our Brushy Mountain Quilters Guild meet there. We offer ballroom and line dance classes. It's available for rent uh, to the public for things like wedding receptions. So it's a nice open place that can be filled with about 220 people really fast. In keeping with Mrs. Sharp's love of the arts, the center has extended their education programs into the public schools. And that's a large part of my job is to connect with the schools and say, okay, what are you not doing and what would you like to do? because every child does not find education between the flaps of a book. It sometimes has to happen on paper, or with clay, or with hearing music, or with learning to play an instrument. Whether it was Diamond Jim Lucas's unique approach to his home, or the Sharps' interest in promoting the arts, the structure that was at the center of all their lives continues on to showcase everything they held so dear. And that's why telling the story is so important. And I promise if you come here, you're going to get our story. The Hidden Knight Arts and Heritage Center is at 316 Hidden Knight Church Road in Hidden Knight. For more information about events and exhibits, give them a call at 828-632-6966.